you know, Daniel, I've heard from players like yourself. I've heard from other players that have played with him. You know, when he took down and he won a big pot or he lost a big pot, you would never tell with him which one was the case because he was such a, a nice person at the table and such a, a good winner and loser where you, didn't even, you couldn't even look by his facial expression whether he had just won or lost a pot. Isn't that kind of sum up the kind of person that he was a man of class? Yeah, I mean, consistently classy. You know, like there was just never a time where he wasn't. And I think the other thing I think a lot of people appreciated, it didn't matter who you were. Obviously, he was friends with all the biggest names in the game, you know, and treated them well and treated them with respect. But he did the same for guys who play $20 little tournaments. He treated everybody with the same amount of respect. Nobody was above the game, if you will. And, um, you know, I I had the pleasure uh, or displeasure of playing with him in the Tournament of Champions (laughs) years ago. And we played heads up, and I was really impressed. You know, he played a lot. He played way better than I thought. Again, we played till 7 or 8 in the morning. We played six hours heads, and he ended up winning. And I remember, you know, just seeing how much it meant to him because poker itself, you know, has always meant a lot to him. And he always took very, very seriously the idea of being an ambassador of the game. And like I said, he's the only one that I would ever give that title to. 